All right, Brick, it's a beautiful day out today. What game are we playing? Pizza Theory. Oh, cool box. Do you like Pizza Theory? I do like Pizza Theory. Oh, cool. What's the whole point of Pizza Theory? The whole point of Pizza Theory is to get all of your toppings on the pizza. Oh, cool pizza. Is it uh, hard? Not really. Pretty simple? Okay, well, what do you do? What you do is you, um, whoever it says is first, second, or third, and yeah. whoever is sitting there, yeah. that's who will go first, second, or third. So All right. how you start is you put, you get two of your toppings and put them on the X's in front of you. Just two X's. Okay. Then the other people would put their toppings on their pizza. Ooh, there's a mystery hand. <laughs> it's <laughs> Caleb, of course. <laughs> and then what do you do on your turn? Whoever is first, second, or third, they'll take one of their toppings and put it on the pizza. Okay. But the only thing is you can't put your topping that's touching another one of your toppings. Oh, so when you place it, you're restricted. Yes. Okay. So I would put mine, say, right here. And then Caleb would go because he's in second. And then somebody go for me. Playing third would go right there, I guess. Okay. And then what? Have to be like that. And then you take your dice and pick where you want to slice the pizza. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay. So you put your stick there. So everybody does that secretly. You do it secretly. Once you're all ready, you show what you have and then slice your pizza. So what did I put? I put three. Yep. I put random for you. So, and then what happens? Um, since in this piece right here, he has one in each, so he's safe. Oh, yeah, he's got one in each, so he's safe. Oh, if you only have one in each, then nothing changes. But what if I didn't? Say I didn't. What would happen to my piece? I would take, I would take this one off and put one of mine on there because that's what was overpowering. Oh, so the majority wins and changes all the pieces. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Well, let's look at it a little further. Okay. All right. So now we're further in the game. There's a lot of toppings out there. We've just finished placing them. And now what do we do? So we all picked what number we wanted to cut the pizza at. So we put them in where we wanted to. Okay. Woo. And what do we see? So it looks like white would get all of these. Oh, because white had four there in that slice? Mm hmm Wow, it's changing quick. Um, and what else? In this piece, nothing happens. Why? Tied. Oh, they're tied. Okay. This piece green. Just tiny little piece. This piece is green. green. Oh, wow, green is wiping up. And this piece, sorry, is red. Oh goodness! So it just so happened that each one got at least one. Wow! At least I got two. That is tricky. So then, what do you do at the end of the round after you replace all the pieces? You check to see if anybody has all their pieces on there. At the end of the round, uh huh. Take off the skewers. Okay. And you twist the pizza the way the arrows are pointing. Ooh, so now you got to slice at a different angle. Mm-hmm. Woo! Wow. Sounds like a fun game, and it changes quick, and it plays quick, right? Yep. Wow, so what would you rate, Pizza Theory? I would give it a four. All right, and Caleb? Five. What? Five. Five, why? Because <laughs> I love it. Because you love it? Yeah. <laughs> well, why do you love it? Because I almost always win. Almost always win. I've only oh, lost once, and that was last time. Wow, so this is a game that Caleb can clean up on, huh? I'm nice. Gonna win. You're going to win this one? Yeah. All right, well, let's finish the game. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Caleb. Yeah. <laughs>